I'm John Bowden. Here's part one of our conversation with Canadian music legend Mark Jordan. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. Mark's always been one of my favorite artists. Reckless Valentine is still etched in my brain. I love every track on that album. But he's released a lot since and much before that. We'll talk about that a lot more in our segment. Here's Mark Jordan. With Rhythm of My Heart, we're going back to well, one of the one of the reasons that we, we reconnected. Am, am I remembering this wrong? Had you not met him when he recorded that song? No. I talked to him on the phone. Uh, when I got a call from... Uh, his uh, a r guy, or the president of, uh, of Warner Records in London, Rob Dickens, when I still lived in California, and uh, and I hear, heard this voice and said, we're going to, this is Rob Dickens, we're going to, I've got Rod Stewart here, we love your song, we're going to record it. And I thought it was a joke. But then he put Rod on, I recognized his voice. So it was all good, and... And that song has just been uh, amazing. It's a huge song, and and now it's uh, they're they're using it to open the uh, the Commonwealth Games in Scotland this summer, and they're doing. I'm rewriting it. That's a, one of the reasons I was flying to LA so much. They're rewriting. I have to rewrite a lot of the verses to reflect the what's happening at the reflect sort of Glasgow and and where the games are. Let's start there. I'm, I'm curious. You've been, uh, this ain't your first rodeo. You've been doing this a lot of years. Do you, do you still have that hunger to, to find those songs, to collaborate? To, do you still get as much from it now than, that you did, you know, in, in the late 70s? I get more. Really? Um, yeah. I, do you want me to change my shirt? No. Strobing out. Um, Not from this end. From this okay. end, it's good. All right. Um, no, I, I enjoy. I enjoy writing songs more than I ever have. I, I just, I'm, I just love it. I can't wait to get up in the morning, and work on uh, work on what I do. And uh, you know, I'm working on. I'm working on writing a song with Rod Stewart now, and we're long distance. You know, he's all over the bloody world, and. And it's uh, it's so much fun. I get to work with all these great, you know, because of the internet, you can you can sort of work long distance, and it's oh, it's brilliant. There's that feeling that I, I get with you and Rod Stewart that there's there's a lot more that could be done here with you guys together. Well, you know what? This is my feeling, <coughs> and I, uh, I I think he listened to a lot of Sam Cooke growing up, and I did too. Like I was, I loved Sam Cooke, and I hear a lot of Sam Cooke in Rod's voice, and I hear a lot of Sam Cooke in my head when I write, and I think that's maybe why it works, because uh, Rod has done uh, recorded four songs, and now we're working on another one, five. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, you know it's been a good uh, collaboration. When you have someone, and I've been in radio thirty years, you get all kinds of you know your perception of a song can change. By li you think you know what it means, and having reviewed so many albums in print, that I'll talk to the artist and they'll say, "Hey, thanks for saying that, but that song's not about that at all." Oh, well, sure. You know, and 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 most artists don't care. They'll go, "Hey, man, you get your meaning out of it, and that's cool. It doesn't have to be your story." Um, when you rhythm of my heart, did you know when it was finished? Did 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 you have any idea that that? I mean, do you ever know? I knew something was going on when I wrote rhythm of my heart. And I came up with that chorus, and then I took it to my writing partner, John Kapek. But I remember sitting, sitting at my keyboard, playing that chorus, and actually sweating. And, and just, it was so, uh, it, I was just rocking on it so hard. And it was a different lyric. It was the rhythm of a heart beating. It was something about, it was something more... Um, I can't remember what the original lyric was, a bit of a scrambled egg. I remember thinking, wow, this is actually commercial. I don't write many commercial songs, but this this seems like it's, there was just something about it. I knew that about Marina Del Rey, too. Marina Del Rey was the fastest song I ever wrote. I wrote it in 20 minutes. I've ne I, I sometimes take three years to write a song. But anyway, Rhythm of My Heart, I knew, I knew there was something great about that song. But but you know uh, it 
had to be a, a brave kind of, everything has to line up to have a hit song. And the reason that was a hit song was that it was the right time for Rod Stewart to do a serious song. Because radio was tired of his dance stuff, I think. He is a serious guy. Like, he's a smart man. And, and he, uh, they wanted him to do more serious songs. So he did Broken Arrow on that record and Rhythm of My Heart. And I think both of them were hits. Rhythm of My Heart was a huge hit. But it was the right time for him to do that. Not everyone could have sung the, that lyric and made it work. Because it is about, it's a, there's a lot of references to war and conflict. And in fact, literally a week before it was to come out, uh, Bush invaded Kuwait. They called me in a panic and they said, the American radio and the UK radio will not play the song now because of the war. And I went, well, it's an anti-war song. They said they won't play it because it's got helicopters and bombs in it. <laughs> and I went, oh, my God. And, you know, it was a single. And they were freaking out, and I was freaking out. And they said, you got to rewrite it. Well, it's supposed to be coming out in a week. And so I started rewriting it. And then the war was three days, and it was over. Amazing. Had no idea. I'm telling you, it was wild. And I don't, I, I don't mean to, to trivialize the war at all. I mean, it was a brutal thing. And, but that song, I think, was misinterpreted by... I read it. It is. It's about. It's about the loss of humanity that comes with war. We'll have more of our conversation with Mark Jordan coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Canada.